hello my friends and welcome back to another episode of my antics today we're going to be talking about a very important subject especially when it comes to some specific species in the united states now you may be watching this worldwide so this could apply in species in your area as well but i find that all ants benefit from substrate Substrate is any kind of material found out in nature that you can add and recreate a more natural feel within where your ants live. This can be very beneficial for even species that don't exactly require it when they're growing. Let's get into exactly how it can benefit your colonies. When you have a mature colony growing in a nest, giving them some kind of substrate is a very positive thing to do for them. You see, giving them the opportunity to move around natural materials that they would come in contact with in nature gives them a more positive vibe and allows them to make satellite nests or move the materials around in their nesting area that suits them the best. Substrate is used as a moisture gradient, which basically means it helps control the moisture inside the nest and the temperature. Now, seeing how mature colonies can benefit from this, what exactly do you do if you just have a lone queen, or a queen that's still growing in a test tube and not quite yet ready to move into a nest? Well, when it comes right down to it, substrate could also be a negative thing. I find that ants tend to move substrate around in a test tube to the point where it actually makes a mess. For one example, I want to show you a Campanatus pennsylvanicus queen that I gave a bit of mulch to to give her the option of nesting on it instead of laying on the circular tube. Instead of doing what I thought she would do, she surprised me by pushing all of the mulch up against the water cotton. Even though the mulch is sterilized and normally known to be water resistant as it's used for gardens, Direct contact to water for long periods of time can not only make the mulch start to rot, but make the water supply not good to drink. In my experiments of giving test tube colony substrate, from mulch, to dirt, to sand, to small pebbles, no matter what it was, it seemed they always surprised me and did the exact opposite of what I thought they would do. They always ended up making a mess, and in the short weeks to come, I normally would remove it or put them in a whole new test tube altogether. Now just because most of the species here in the United States, or worldwide for that matter, don't need substrate, there are a few species that require it to succeed. Here we have a very special species of ant. Can you tell me what they are? If you guessed honeypot ants, you are 100% correct. Honeypot ants are the bee's knees of ant keeping, but with that title comes a very hard species to keep. You see, their mature brood, or pupa to be exact, need some kind of a sand or dirt-like substance to help themselves wrap the cocoons and eventually become into workers. Honeypot ants, along with trap jaws, which I have a video down in the lower right corner, are some of the few species that absolutely need substrate to make sure that they grow into a mature colony. Just a quick side note, in case you noticed the larva moving in the last video of the uh, honeypot queen, I swear it just moved like a half an inch, and I swear to god that I, I didn't know that larva could do that, or pupa for that matter. I, I didn't know that they could move around. Uh, from my knowledge, they can only wiggle and they can eat and move their mouths around, but after doing a half an hour of research after I shot that video, it is 100% uh, a honeypot cocoon and I've never seen that before in all of my years of ant keeping so I wanted to <laughs> point that out real quick just so uh, in case one of you noticed that but anyways 
When it comes down to substrate, I don't believe it's something that you should put in a colony's test tube while they're growing in it. The couple exceptions would be, as previously shown, a honey pot, trap jar, maybe leaf cutters, but that's about it. They don't really need anything extra. Now, when you do put them into a nest, I think it's a wonderful thing to give them a part of nature in with them, because that's what they're used to living in, and I think it makes them happy to have the ability to move it around. Well, ladies and gents, that wraps up today's video. I hope you learned something, and I hope that you know how to use substrate just a little bit better than you did before watching. You all have a wonderful night. Happy ant keeping.